Hello there, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep, and today we'll be diving deep into a critical aspect of manufacturing, engineering change requests. If you've ever wondered where engineering change requests originate from or what they include, this video will answer those questions and more. We'll discuss the role of a computerized maintenance management system, or CMMS, in managing engineering change requests and walk you through a typical engineering change request process using an example from Cable Labs. Stay tuned to learn how engineering change requests can help streamline your manufacturing processes, improve products, and ensure customer satisfaction. Now let's dive into the world of engineering change requests in manufacturing. These are designed to promote conversation, thinking, and problem solving within an organization or industry. But where do these requests originate from? Well, they can come from a wide variety of sources. For instance, a customer complaint might trigger an engineering change request, or perhaps an idea from a continuous improvement brainstorming session, or even an employee suggestion. Problems identified in the field from non-conforming materials, or as a result of process-related failure codes, can also kickstart an engineering change request process. Regular audits or facility condition assessments conducted by a company can generate engineering change requests too. Now let's talk about what an engineering change request in manufacturing includes. Whether your organization uses a paper engineering change request or an electronic one, there are some key pieces of information that should be included. First off, the engineering change request should describe the problem and the reason a change is needed. It should also include details like part descriptions, part identification codes, and the name and contact information of the person initiating the engineering change request. Don't forget the submission date, deadline date, and any resolution suggestions. Now, if all this information can be captured within a Computerized Maintenance Management System, or CMMS, it can be accessed by all affected parties, tracked accurately, and executed more efficiently. So what happens after the engineering change request is initiated? Typically, the details of an engineering change request in manufacturing are reviewed by management, relevant employees, and key stakeholders. If it's deemed appropriate to pursue, an engineering change order, or ECO, or a manufacturing change order can result. This form will move the process to the next stage where action items, details, and instructions are laid out. For example, Cable Labs, a cable industry member association, outlines a multi-step engineering change request process. After electronic submission, key participants receive a web portal announcement. Then, members are encouraged to monitor and engage in the engineering change process. Finally, the engineering change request is incorporated into relevant processes. So, as you can see, engineering change requests play a significant role in manufacturing, helping to streamline processes, improve products, and ensure customer satisfaction. Thank you for watching this video where we've dived into the world of engineering change requests and the role of a computerized maintenance management system or CMMS in managing them. We've also walked you through a typical engineering change request process using an example from Cable Labs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. For more details and resources, visit our website at upkeep.com. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.